She once served another who wanted the Iron Throne. It didn't end well for Stannis Baratheon, did it? No, it didn't. You chose an auspicious day to arrive at Dragonstone. We've just decided to pardon those who once served the wrong king. <laughs> the prince who was promised will bring the dawn. I'm afraid I'm not a prince. Your grace, forgive me, but your translation is not quite accurate. That noun has no gender in High Valyrian, so the proper translation for that prophecy would be the prince or princess who was promised will bring the dawn. Doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? No, but I like it better. And you believe this prophecy refers to me? Prophecies are dangerous things. I believe you have a role to play. As does another. The King in the North, Jon Snow. Jon Snow? Ned Stark's bastard. You know him? I travelled with him to the war when he joined the Night's Watch. And why do you think the Lord of Light singled out this Jon Snow, aside from the visions you've seen in the flames, that is? As Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, he allowed the wildlings south of the Wall to protect them from great danger. As King in the North, he has united those wildlings with the Northern Houses, so together they may face their common enemy. He sounds like quite a man. Summon Jon Snow. Let him stand before you and tell you the things that have happened to him. The things that you're seeing with his own eyes. I can't speak to prophecies or visions and flames, but I like Jon Snow and I trusted him. And I am an excellent judge of character. Yeah. If you don't believe me, you would make a valuable ally. The Lannisters executed his father and conspired to murder his brother. Jon Snow has even more reason to hate Cersei than you do. Send a raven north. Tell Jon Snow that his queen invites him to come to Dragonstone. And bend the knee. Powerful. But not invincible. Apparently, one of Daenerys' dragons was wounded by spears in the fighting pits of Miri. They can be wounded, they can be killed. The finest artillers and blacksmiths in King's Landing have been laboring day and night, Your Grace. Turn the dragons loose. Tens of thousands will die in the firestorm. It's called war. You don't have the stomach for it. Scurry back into hiding. I know how you wage war. We don't poison little girls here. Oh. Is innocent. She's a Lannister. There are no innocent Lannisters. My greatest regret is that Oberyn died fighting for you. That's enough. Though Tyrion is hand of the queen, you will treat him with respect. I am not here to be Queen of the Ashes. That's very nice to hear. Of course, I can't remember a queen who was better loved than my granddaughter. The common people loved her. The nobles loved her. And what is left of her now? Ashes. Commoners, nobles, they're all just children, really. They won't obey you unless they fear you. I'm grateful to you, Lady Elena, for your counsel. I'm grateful to all of you. But you have chosen to follow me. I will not attack King's Landing. We will not attack King's Landing. The Dornish will lay siege to the capital. Alongside the Tyrell army, two great kingdoms united against Cersei. So, your master plan is to use our armies. Forgive me for asking, but why did you bother to bring your own? The Unsullied will have another objective. For decades, House Lannister has been the true power in Westeros, and the seat of that power is Casterly Rock. 
Graham and then Sully, the first of the lot. And Pete. Watch, training to serve as maester at Castle Black. I knew your father. I was with him when he died. You are not dying today, Sir John. Yes. Drink this. What is it? Wrong. Drink it all, please. I'm afraid this is going to hurt.
Again, I'm sorry. Please try not to scream.